Die Behandlung des offenen Abdomens auf der Intensivstation. Open Abdomen Treatment on the ICUs characterized by respiratory disorders, loss of proteins and fluids, imbalance of electrolytes, considerable limitation of patient's mobility, pain, infections and intestinal fistulation. Therefore, temporary closure of the open abdomen is imperative. The purpose is prevention of complications and reduction of treatment efforts. Furthermore, it should support planned final abdominal closure. The ideal temporary abdominal closure should meet the following requirements. Conservation of the abdominal wall. Prevention of lateral retraction of the abdominal fascia. Support of planned final abdominal closure. Possibility of multiple surgical re-explorations while being easily applicable. Short duration of dressing change. Prevention of external recontamination of the abdominal cavity. Protection against desiccation and damage of viscera. Prevention of herniation and evisceration. Prevention and treatment of abdominal compartment syndrome. Reduction of loss of fluids as well as fluid balancing. Improvement of patient care. Patient compliance and convenience. Prevention of late complications like incisional hernia, intra-abdominal adhesions or fistulation. Cost reduction by shortening ICU and hospital length of stay. To date, none of the published procedures meets all the mentioned requirements. Otherwise, depending on the chosen technique, considerable differences regarding frequency of complications and rate of final abdominal closure exist. Vacuum therapy seems to be one of the most effective. This technique is published using different terms like vacuum-assisted closure or negative pressure wound therapy or active wound drainage.